Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have a quick video to share with you two new jewelry pieces. If you saw my wishlist video, I did want to incorporate more jewelry into my wardrobe because I just feel like, oh, it adds so much and it's more affordable than a handbag, okay? I'm trying to be more mindful with my money to quote Lumi level up. Now, I recently came back from Charleston, South Carolina. We were visiting some family. I was doing a lot of state hopping, okay? We were in DC, we were in South Carolina, we were in North Carolina. We were bouncing all around. Not that DC is a state, but you get my meaning. We were also in Maryland. We were moving all around now. I did pick up a few pieces while we were in Charleston. If you like antiques, if you like vintage, if you like just spending hours and hours digging, Charleston is amazing. There is so much to see. There's incredible food. I mean, it's a really, really fun place, but particularly if you like old, cool stuff, in my opinion. <laughs> Anyway, um, this, the first piece I want to share with you, is not vintage. However, it has a really dramatic vintage feel to me. I got this. It's on King Street, I believe. I got it at the Preservation Society where they sell a bunch of different things, really focused in on locally made goods. They also have a really quirky bookstore in the back. The ladies who were working there, they were super nice. Um, and... So yeah, without more rambling, the first piece I got is from a company called Barakish. I will have as much as the, of their information linked down below as I can. It came in this beautiful wooden box. We saw the display, so Barakish is known for their bow ties. I think during the pandemic, they told me that during the pandemic, since they had a lot of time, they used that to develop their women's line, which I had never ever seen before. Obviously, since I hadn't been able to go down there since before the pandemic. Now, this is just a wooden box. It gives you the details because I've already taken the piece I picked out. Uh, it comes in this little burlap bag. It has a really soft micro suede interior. It does, you know, pull up nicely. It's really pretty. I like that kind of like earthy detail uh, with the bag. But I bought a cuff. Now, they do... It's all focused in on feathers. These are peacock feathers. I'm gonna of course have close-ups because there's no way that you'll be able to see this in detail from my camera. But I, I am not a bracelet person, okay? Until just this past, I wanna say it was September, my mom came to visit and she had a bunch of like little gold jewelry, mostly from the 80s and 90s that she just wasn't wearing anymore and she was trying to decide what to do with it. Some of it was pretty beat up, but she had one necklace and I've been wearing that a lot, wrapped three times around my wrist. That has gotten me a little bit more used to wearing bracelets. And when I saw these on display in the window, I just thought it was gorgeous. They also have a bunch of earrings. I'll put up pictures of some of my favorites, but they're just really unique. They're so dramatic, um, but you can also pair them casually. You can make them more boho, you can make them more formal. The bow ties, I think are really, really cool. If I wore bow ties, <laughs> I would want these. I, I don't wear bow ties, <laughs> but I kinda, I kinda wish I could anyway. You know, they also have these little um, lapel pins, but I think you could put them on a bunch of different things that I could imagine putting on a blazer. April, if you are watching this, I did think of you because I thought of your fabulous hats and how cool would that lapel, like little feather pin. Anyway, I, I just think they're really unique. They offer an interesting locally made product. This is gold plated brass. And let's see, might as well pop it on and show you. So it is adjustable. Um, they'd have to give you more information on that. And from what I've read from the reviews on the website, they're really responsive. They offer excellent customer service. Um, but the in the Preservation Society, the shop where I got mine, they did say that it was fully adjustable. So the only branding on this bangle is the little B in there, the cursive B, the same one that is on the box. It is, of course, more delicate jewelry because of the feather, but they do have a guarantee I'll try to find more information about that and have it linked below. From what I was told in the store, you just really easily register your piece online and it offers some kind of warranty for some amount of time. 
don't remember off the top of my head, but I'll have that shown on the screen. This is called the Mary Ann design. All of that is listed here. They do recommend keeping yours in the box, just mostly to keep it away from other things. I might keep mine in my jewelry box or I'll keep it in here, I'm not sure. Oh, it actually has some information on cuff sizing. So it says your brackish cuff has been intentionally designed to protect the feather craftsmanship through firm, though firm, each is adjustable. To size the cuff to your wrist, clasp your hand around the hardware and gently apply pressure. I might make mine a smidgen smaller. I might attempt it. Oh, there's even like little magnets on this box. That's like a really satisfying closure, but I can just put this on and I'm kind of scared to do it. I'm nervous. Oh my God, why are my hands shaking? Oh, it is, it does give. It does give just like the teeny tiniest a bit. So, well, okay, maybe I, I don't know what I'm doing, but it's pretty and it fits. I really, really like this. No, I definitely made it smaller because now I'm having a hard time taking it off. Okay. The last piece I have to share with you did come in this silk padded pouch. It was from a jewelry store, which I think mostly focuses on estate jewelry. It was just a little bit further down from the Preservation Society. So if you're walking along King, you'll eventually get to Louis Vuitton to give you a sense of direction. But we were walking on the same side as the Preservation Society and we came across a bunch of really cool looking jewelry stores, galleries, and I ended up picking up a pearl necklace. So these are just freshwater, it's a strand of pearls. It does have these little gold beads, but they are gold plated silver. It has a clasp uh, that is a flower and just that kind of like typical snap kind of design. I thought that this was really quirky. So I wasn't looking to spend a ton of money on this trip. Oh, and I should say that my mom actually bought the cuff for me. That was $165. I think they're really reasonably priced considering that you are supporting a local artisan. These are gorgeous and they're handmade. What else could you want, honestly? They're so unique. Every single cuff because of the feather is gonna be unique. What, I mean, what could be better than that? I'm, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> But I really love that brackish cuff, but just so you know, my mom actually got that for me. It was kind of a birthday slash Christmas gift. My birthday's in October. I didn't get to see them over the holidays because they live quite far away. So um, this one, I wasn't looking to spend a ton of money on this trip and a salesperson there pointed out the liquidation corner. I love old things. I just do. I like things which maybe, I don't know, I think look a little bit unusual on their own. Um, pearls, I think, get kind of a bad rap for being old lady, old fashioned, kind of boring. I love them. I think they're gorgeous. This strand is a little bit more relaxed. It's a little bit more boho than those like perfect circular pearls, certainly more than like a Koya pearls. These are just freshwater and it has this, uh, these silver beads, which are gold plated. The flower clasp, I think is an interesting detail and it's just really easy to slip in and out so that I can put it on. But I just thought that this was kind of fun. Um, I'm trying to remember how much I paid. So everything in the liquidation cabinet was half off and I believe that brought this down to like 150. $160, which I think was a, a really, really good price. Um, it was, yeah, it was over, it was just over $300 originally. So I was happy to look through. They actually had a number of pearl strands. I was trying not to go crazy, even though they were excellent prices for being the liquidation sale, for being half off. And I've looked at a ton of pearls. One thing I wanna point out about Charleston, if you are looking at antiques there, they are pricey. They will have, things that are in excellent condition, but I went into a number of the antique stores which had a ton of pearls, um, a lot of cameo pins, I love them, but they were slightly higher priced than I've seen elsewhere. So just keep that in mind. If you're into jewelry, if you're into antiques, just kind of do your research, do some quick Googling. Like if you're looking for a bargain, you might not find it there, but you also might find something that's really unique in excellent condition and then it's worth the markup. 
Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I love getting to share these with you. I have noticed that I've wanted to shift my channel focus. To be honest, I don't really know where I fit. I have always done luxury content and jewelry, definitely, whether it is $100 or six thousand dollars or ten like you get what i'm saying <laughs> like it can get crazy expensive it can be more than any bag you could ever imagine but regardless of the price i think luxury jewelry is always a luxury and it's a way to bring out our unique style it's a way to bring out different elements in our outfit our personality i think it ties everything together whereas you know I can only wear so many handbags at once, right? Maybe a tote and a small crossbody, but jewelry can really bring my personality forward and I can wear different elements at once. I, I don't know where my channel is going precisely. I hope it's still fun. <laughs> I hope people enjoy it, but I need to make things that feel right for me and I know I'm going to be buying less luxury handbags in the future. Just I'm just thinking about my spending and what I want to own and to make sure that I'm always creating on an authentic style for myself and making content that I enjoy doing. That's the main thing. I love luxury handbags. I'm by no means trying to end this by saying, yeah, I'm done with the Like, not at all. I love my luxury handbags, but I do want to make more styling content. I want to look more at little independent brands and bring those into focus. Like, for example, with this brackish cuff, it was unlike anything I had ever seen before. And I was really excited to share it with people. I know that I have just this teeny tiny little channel, but it's such a privilege to, to get to make videos like this, to have videos like this, and for people to actually share this moment with me. It's it's something I really enjoy doing and it was meaningful to me to get to share this and talk about a local brand. Anyway, that is all I wanted to say. So thank you so much for joining me in this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!